I'm Guy Sigsworth. I'm a producer. I've produced uh, Madonna, Britney Spears. I've worked with Björk and Imogen Heap. Uh, and uh, I'm here to talk about Dyna Audio speakers. And I can honestly say, um, no money has changed hands to let you know, <laughs> that uh, I utterly, utterly love the Air 6s and they are my favourite monitors. They were recommended to me by a friend called Mylise, who's a sound artist who makes music with plants. She's basically built a, um, a, a program that extracts electrical impulses from plants and then basically the plants generate the music. Um, and uh, she's had things in installations, they're pretty amazing. And it's mostly test tone type sine wavy music, but shifting through harmonies according to, to what happens to the plants. And I've been around to her apartment when she's had this stuff, and you know, even she strokes the leaf of a plant, you hear the music change and stuff. Uh, wonderful stuff. And um, because I think the kind of music she makes is so precise and it's so pure, I think her, she's got this very cute sense of hearing. So as soon as she was showing me the Air 6s, um, I could sense that if, she, if they were good enough for her, she has the most um, ruthless sort of hearing test of anybody I, I could think of. Um, you know, what we do in, in pop seems kind of chaotic compared to that. And um, when I heard them at her place, I just thought these are amazing. And finally, they allowed me to retire my Yamaha NS10s. I don't, I don't think that um, I don't think you want monitors necessarily to have features of stuff. I mean, obviously, it's great that they're they're powered and you can direct digitally input, and, and it does have sort of calibration options. But it, it, fundamentally, speakers, it's about the sound, isn't it? And, and it's about the fact that you can trust the sound to be um, an honest reflection of what's going on in the music and to reveal the detail but not flatter you. But there's no point in having a speaker that, um, uh, you know, mirror, mirror, who's the fairest of them all, that's always going to tell you that you are the fairest of, of them all. You want it to tell you the truth, really, because if something's wrong in the mix, you want it to loudly tell you it's wrong and force you to fix it. Um, you don't want to discover that later when it's on radio and you think, oh my god, what happens in the chorus? <laughs> Um, so I just love them, um, and I've tried, you know, lots of brands of speakers, and there are lots of great ones. But for me, the, the Air Sixes just suit me perfectly. Also, I think that they're just right for the kind of smaller size of room where I tend to work. You know, with uh, where it's the sort of glorified programming suite with a with a live room. And, um, you know, obviously, if I was in a larger room, I might I might go up. Is it the Air 9s they do, Chris? Is that the A12. Oh, A12s, is it? Uh, yeah. But um, in, in this kind of... Um, I, I, like, I like having things quite close in where they're almost a glorified pair of headphones, you know? <laughs> so uh, the, the 6s is the right size for me. Even when I go to LA to work on stuff over there, I insist they hire me in Air 6s because I just know that if things sound good on the Air 6s, they will sound good everywhere else. Um, they're just fantastic. Um, and especially the, the, when you've got the sub, I find the bass response is very predictable. And um, since I've mixed on the Air 6s, I've never really been shocked in any bad way by how things have sounded out of the room, which I did used to get on other monitors I've tried. So I can't recommend them too highly. They're brilliant. Mm -hmm.